If you stand at the corner of 14th and X Streets in downtown Sacramento for any length of time, you can't miss it. No, it's not music to my ears, definitely not. There are sounds that make you not want to stay there for too long. They're very irritating, but I'm willing to deal with them if it has some positive effect about keeping people from wanting to come here. Accompanying the sounds, boulders strategically placed between the sidewalk and the street. These enhancements surrounding the building across the street from Preston Lasley's home of seven years are by design. This is my home and and I'm just happy to see that finally I get to enjoy it again after three years of being inundated with all the tents. According to the owners of the building at 14th and X. Our renters called us and said we can't get in the building. Trouble with the encampments around the health care office space reached a breaking point. We have to clean up needles and we're cleaning up trash and we're cleaning up feces and and spray paint and broken windows constantly. At some point it was hey can you guys at least just put the trash in here. The building's owners also saying their tenants were being harassed, so they applied for a permit from the city of Sacramento and got the OK to bring in the boulders to prevent the tents from going up and started streaming those can't miss them sounds. I've only been out here for 44 minutes. I can tell you it's a problem over here with me. You know, you know what I mean? And it's like, uh, I don't know how these people do it, but they need help. YG's says he works with the unhoused. I come here to help the homeless out, give them clothes, food, anything of that nature. He says he thinks the city allowing the deterrent measures in front of this building isn't the answer. People are upset. Yes, they are. They're upset. He thinks more emphasis should be placed on finding housing for the people he works with. And at some point, the social contract is I don't do anything to you as long as you're able to keep your little part of the world safe. The building's owners saying that wasn't happening, despite their efforts to assist and coexist with the unhoused community surrounding their building. Our hope is we want safe neighborhoods. We want neighborhoods that where you can walk the sidewalks. And it, we didn't have that. We just didn't. Now, Melanie, I imagine businesses in the area are encouraged and they've expressed that this is working at least for now, but do they think this is a long-term solution? They realize at this point that this is probably only a temporary fix and that these folks need a long-term solution for the homeless situation that plagues the downtown Sacramento area. They say they also think the problem may get worse in the coming weeks for their part of Sacramento, given that recently uh, the county of Sacramento has banned camping along the American River Parkway in some areas. Uh, these business owners think that some of the folks who lived along the American River Parkway are going to now come to the city center and camp out in front of buildings like theirs. They have used these measures to try to deter the unhoused from camping out there, but they don't think that it is a long-term solution for the problem. All right, we know you'll keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.